Alright, so there we go. So our time has started. We've got dials rolling. Alright, so clock is just a little bit off, but they have begun. So excellent. So Drew is charging up. Drop and focuses. And there we go. Keen to get up and around that asteroid and debris formation, I would think. Yep. Some nice three turns or banks next turn. Yep. We'll get him pointing where he wants to be. Kelvin has all of his uh, three A-wings color-coded for our convenience. Mm -hmm. uh, looking very nice. Kelvin is known for his uh, painting of the ships. A lot of the PTL opens and PTL League prizes have been Kelvin's uh, yep. custom-painted ships. A little hobby he does. So he's great at painting ships and he's great at flying the ships. He's pretty good. He's all right. He's doing, he's doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. Zeri, I believe, is the turquoise. A-wing? Yep. Greer is the red one. And Tally's in the dark blue. Yeah. So both of these guys are both uh, old school players from first edition. Uh, yeah, way back. Yeah. So Drew, I believe he started playing in wave two of uh, wave two or maybe three in first edition and Calvin same <laughs> yeah. way way back so the A-wings are making a beeline for that rock and debris formation and Poe is following suit yeah now a massive 73 points hang on Poe in this match so if Drew can half point, kill or half point him, and even half pointing him does pretty well for uh, Drew in the balance. Uh, 37 points in his pocket for just three damage on Poe. Which is not hard to do with, you know, five ships with massively consistent firepower. Yeah. So how would you compare... This 5SF Swarm to that other ridiculous 5SF Swarm that's the lower pilot skill, but they all have missiles and passive sensors. So I've never played against that. I'm curious about how good it is, but I myself have not seen it on the table. Okay. So I'm loath to pronounce okay. on that subject. I would think that it's really, that it really plays well with the white link rotate that the SFs have where they can shoot front, shoot back, just like, oh, I didn't, I thought I was safe, but oh no, yeah, <laughs> I am not safe. I am in a world of pain. I like the cluster missiles actually on the, uh, on the, on the I-2s. Yeah. Or sorry, on the I-3s. I like them on the I-3s because you can also have fanatical. You can lose some yeah. shields and then you've got double mods with those cluster missile shots. Oh which yeah. Which actually makes them pretty impressive. It and does. cluster missiles are also becoming more attractive because of the environment. I mean, we had yesterday. I played so three many swarmless swarms, swarms so, or mini swarms. So many. And you know, cluster missiles always used to be bad because you're like, well, I'll be flying against three aces half the day. So yeah, why would I bother with something that's not going to? Why would I pay five points for a three dice shot that I have to target lock for? Yeah. If you know, half of your matches basically guarantee you return with your cluster missile investments then that's not bad yep so drew's just rocking along just getting those focuses down and calvin's like that's nice i'm gonna uh, be over um, here yeah i go up here <laughs> people are cheering drew on he's got a fan base all right sf the first order is strong so if this trajectory keeps up, what do you see happening? So Kelvin runs all of his ships along there. How is this going to go? Do you think Drew's going to turn in? Do you think he's going to turn away, make him chase? That boost is going to fail, Kelvin. Fail action. Um, I'm not sure. I think that boost, fail boost, might change everything, actually. Really? You, mm -hmm. don't, think, you don't think that that's completely recoverable? These... these a-wings are so 
versatile and flexible and forgiving. I So up until there, I thought that uh, Kelvin might push for a range three engagement in the next oh, really? round, but it's going to be two rounds to engagement for sure. Okay. And I think it's such that they can both count on that and prepare. So I think that Kelvin's attempt to rush along the side is not going to work, and he's best trying to draw Drew through that the intersection of that big rock over near his mm-hmm. over near Drew's ships, and then the the bunny rabbit shaped debris cloud in the middle of the screen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, we haven't seen Drew do any type of barrel rolling to change his formation at this point. But, but he could. But he could. He could set up. He could just get himself into a bit of a holding pattern because the SF does have that one straight, mm-hmm. that beautiful one straight that not a lot of Thai models do have. Mm-hmm. where you can do the holding pattern of barrel ro- one straight, barrel roll back, barrel roll away. So I'll be anxious to see what happens. But really, what's Calvin's best chance for at a range three engagement? I mean, he's not going to be taking any damage, but he's certainly not going to be removing a ship before no. it fires. He just wants to get some hits through um, at range three on a target. Maybe to soften them up a little bit, so then they can be EPS killed later. Or but that also killed. does a that that's an advantage for Drew because if he triggers fanatical, and he's like, okay, yes, thank you. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I mean, Kelvin has to kill stuff here. Definitely. I mean, he cannot. If all those arcs turn on something, it's going to kill something. Yeah. Like, the, the the point the time will come when Drew gets all arcs on somebody. Yeah. So Kelvin needs to have killed some ships by that point. Hopefully not Poe. So do you think that the way that it is shaped right now, that Kelvin would go for a pincer, or is he going to try to consolidate again? I think he might try attacks from two edges. Right. So draw down three and four farther down, and then hard turn in with Poe yep. and Tally. Yep. And there so, you go. So Drew is not having any of it. He, he looks like Talon. Uh, sorry, Sloops. Slooping. Yeah. Slooping, setting up. Yeah. He's like, okay. So all he's right. gonna he's gonna be tricky with his yeah. angle of attack. I yeah. suppose. So I could see that all his turrets are turned backwards. So I guess, given that he doesn't need to have them forwards for any reason, because he doesn't have special forces gunner. He's yeah. Always got both sides of the ship to shoot from. Yeah. Yep, that's the thing. You, you didn't pay the 10 points for the gunner. Mm-hmm. You know, he's going to be wherever he's got shots, he's going to do it. They're like mini fire sprays with those back arcs. You think that the back arcs will play a role for Calvin? He's usually really consistent with being able, once he's zeros in a target, he can get that, get mo- very good use out of his back arc with those A wings. Calvin? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, he's got to be wary. The trick which he does, his opponent's got. He can't overshoot these guys and take no shots. Yeah, he's really... I mean, he can still boost and get out of particular arcs. Greer, in particular, can do that, right? Because she has the free right uh, rotate. And it's her moving now, so he's moving her to the side. So, I mean, he has to be... He has to expect one banks here. All right, so there we go. He's going for the... Now does does Tally boost through, try to be as quick as possible? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, she does. And then Poe's going to follow right alongside? Yeah. He might come in behind Greer. You think? He could. Okay. Yeah. Just foils token. Oh, yeah. Is that a PTL league promo? Nope. That's uh, that's, a Kropa. I mean, the the S-foils were introduced in 1.0, in fact. And even back then, we had started using tokens yeah. instead of flipping the cards. All right. So what do you think is going to happen at this point? Like, either one. You think that the SFs are all going to be one banking to relieve the stress and then barrel rolling? Or what yes. do you think is going to be happening? Yep. I think You don't think one he's going to be sticking with the uh, focus? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm not sure about the barrel roll, okay. but I think one banks and focuses is a pretty good idea. Yeah. Um, he could take some of them and split them up 
I'm not sure that, that overall that's a good strategy, mm -hmm. but if he decided to do that, he could take uh, eggs four and five, blast them three straight, focus, try to defend that flank, and then one bank, one, two, and three. Yeah. I don't like five doing a one bank. It's the only one I don't like the one bank for, mm -hmm. just because then it'll be facing that rock. It might be enough for him to two turn after that. I'm not sure. Yeah. Tally looks like she can come in here without any problems. All right, so there he goes with his one bank. Yep, and we might see a barrel roll here, as you suggest. No, he's just going to focus. He's doing the focus, just the one bank focus across the board, okay. And he's got his own focus tokens. Yep. So those, so is this what, is this what Calvin wants at this point? Is this? I think so. I think this is not bad for Kelvin at all. I think Tally does a five straight here. Um, and even if she doesn't get a shot, she's happy being over on their flank. Right. Um, now, I think it's important that Poe does not do a fast move here and mm -hmm. takes his time. But he is probably, ultimately, the target of this right. aggressive wing. So, Greer so, and mm -hmm. Zara, you think they're going to rush on by or... Oh, here they come. We'll find out. Three bank. So they're just going for some range three love taps here. Yeah. No, he's doing the focus. Yep. That may be a little too much heat for poor Zeri. Hopefully this is only a two. Yeah. Calvin is a very, very precise player. He has done... He's done all the math. He knows all the angles. He knows those distances. I mean, Drew's uh, use of his maneuver templates is also very precise. And both of these guys have uh, have sure hands. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, there he is. Tally's right. just that. Please there you just go. punch. Look at that. Just right on the line. Yeah. Out of arc. Yeah. I don't think she has crack shot. Okay, so Poe is... There's the fast move. Yeah. He's just coming in on the flank. Now the choice is, does he just take a focus here? Or nope. He's yes. going to boost. He's going to commit. He's going to get in. He's got black one, so... Is he on the line? He gets one freebie where an entire swarm turns at him. And so long as he isn't bumped, yeah. he can get the heck out. I mean, even if he is on the line, so what? It's two dice coming back at him. Big deal. All right, let's see what happens. I mean, you're correct. He cannot hope to clear one of these guys in one round. We got hit crit. And Spend focus. spending the focus. That was a little disappointing for Kelvin. Tally, same target. Range one. Got a wild die. All right. Spend the focus for three. This is going to hurt. Nope. Taking so three. three shields down on eggs number one. Range three from Greer. She gets one. He decides not to spend it on optics. Evaded. Range three, Zary through the rock on number one. <laughs> He is not going to spend that. He's not going to spend it. And that's fine. Okay, so Kelvin took out three shields and a focus token, which on balance doesn't matter because that dude's got fanatical. Right, but that guy, does he have a shot? Doesn't he have a shot? Oh, he's definitely got a shot on Zeri. Yeah. But the Greer, focus but... token, though, they with they can... You're right. Yep, they can use make use of that focus token. Two on Poe. Poe has three dice, two dice. Poe takes one. Poe takes a shield. Hmm. Exchange is beginning to... Is anybody else going to get there? Uh, nobody else has got Poe. No. Yeah, so at this point, coming at two different angles, he's exploiting the safe points, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Calvin is exploiting those side arcs where he can move in and not get shot. So there's Fanatical. And two, two safe. Greer. 
Yeah, those A wings, very hard to get. Uh, get grit. Very hard to get. Two evades. Those two dice to do any work at long range against three agility ships. You got number four shooting on Zeri. Nada. So is one. it gonna with optics? Optics she gets two. There we go. Okay. So I think is there one we more might shot. Think that last guy didn't have range. Okay, way in the back possibly. I mean, I guess one of the worries that both of these players have to have in using their very useful back arcs yep. is that if, let's say, Drew does something like five straights with five and one, yeah, um, then the next turn he's got to turn around to yep. come back. So those guys will drift out of the fight for a round. Um, yeah. So both of them had to think about how to constant. Flying these kinds of lists is an exercise in concentrating your firepower. And there's that five straight. And the focus token. Mm -hmm. There's another one. So I suggested a three turn for Greer. Will she clear? I think she will. I think that's the move. We'll see. I'll shoot those guys in the side. We'll see. Considerations. Looks like he's doing the full yep. swarm, the five straights. All right. And now he's got his damaged one safely tucked away. Or at least as tucked away as he can get behind that debris cloud. Next swing is such an interesting game nowadays because... These are calls that Kelvin has to make right, right? Exactly. Like, he, he can't do a thing just like, oh, two boost in and shoot some more. Yep. If he's, or two bank in and shoot some more. If he's yep. done that, okay. he's in trouble. All right, now we've got this guy coming out here. He's not getting in there. He is... Throwing a block in, I guess? Getting in the way. He's getting in the way, still getting arcs. See what happens. Right, so Interesting Poe, move. Bo turned in in trouble and Zeri is just like yeah I'll, I'll see you all right but Calvin's Calvin's patient he's you know playing the long game he's done the math nice you're gonna use a good call nice yep doing the uh using the arc called that turn is there even a single arc on her uh, Gosh, that's hard to Hard figure. to tell with all those wings. Well, oh, this, well number, number four, four, four for sure. sure. But that looks like a range three, so it's going to be very difficult. Fortunately, Telly does through. not make a good call. Yeah, but, you know, Telly's now cleared. She's She can barrel roll and boost and get herself out, but we'll see what he does. I think that'll be far enough out. See what happens. <laughs> So he's looking at eight dice right now. Some of them range three shots. So he could focus and boost, perhaps reduce that number. Still in the boost. And rotate. Ooh, that's daring. No, no, he focused. He did boost. the evade. Okay, what did Poe do? Poe did a one straight. Okay. What position are your foils in, Kelvin? Pose in deep. Okay. All right. A lot of considerations here. Calvin's thinking. He doesn't really have any choices. What is the best bad decision he can make? Because he's got to make a decision. There's no good decision. <laughs> There's nothing here. I think he just focuses. Just tries focus not to die. Tries not to die. Calvin is a very, very seasoned player. Many regional level system open, Coruscant top eight. He is. Uh, he's been around the block a, a time or two. Yep. So he keeps looking at it, hoping Poe has arc, but I don't he's think he does. He's just hoping. It's just... Okay, all right, well, 
So All he's right. going to try to take out that one ship with the uh, with the uh, Greer shot. Looks like it's range one. He's rolled it on the table. He's rolled it over there. It's not as good. Two. It's not going to do the job. Spends the focus, and and then Zeri has a shot, but I think it's a different target. Spends the focus for two. Okay. And looks like one will get through if Drew. A number feels, five? No, he takes two on number five. Right call. Poe is going to take. Uh, that is. Range eight, one. 11 dice. He's gonna, so he's going to. That was pretty op, lucky. Advanced uh, optics, optics into two. Right, 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 right. Poe is going to. So he's going to spend it. He's going to save it for the blank out because he's got more dice coming at him. Spends yeah. it. Takes no damage. Okay, let's see what happens now. Oh, uh, Poe might not be in one of those arcs. All right. So, a downtown shot on so, Tally. Ooh, Tally's fine. Force. Range two looks like through the debris on Poe for a hit crit. Poe takes one. Down to one shield. One shield on Poe. Another obstructed shot, range two. Another two damage. Oh, just one. Why was it just one? Like he didn't have a focus? So maybe that was the damaged guy who I th thought he had spent fanatical. his focus. I thought he had fanatical. Oh, no, they don't. Yeah, they have fanatical. Yeah, they do have fanatical. I don't know. Can't interfere. Right. It's their game to play. And then there's a shot from five onto Zeri for two. two. Ooh, Sorry, Zeri takes, takes them one. both. Oh, she doesn't have a focus token no, anymore. she spent it. Oh, I thought she was I think safe. Kelvin assumed all the heat would go at Poe, as oh, yeah. I did. Well, there you go. So two damage on, Z on uh, Zari. Z Zari. Yeah. Number four. So that was interesting. That could now have been we are tied. 2020. A lot worse off for okay. Kelvin. Like I said, he really had to get out of there that round. All right, here we go. So he's doing the one bank. Right pass. Nice. All right. Trying to give him a range, self a range one shot. Poe sticks around. But Poe is not going to stick around. He could be... I think Poe may... Three turns. Whoa, ho. You think Poe would, like, jump in there and try to get shots up the back? That seems like uh, not a thing that he would do. But this is unexpected. I don't know. With Drew with this hard turn off. Kelvin has is uh, even more aggressive player than I so am. It looks like he's evading. Drew it looks like those right. look like squiggles that Drew is evading at this point, not focusing because he's not expecting to get shots and he doesn't want to be taking. It's a new addition for uh, second edition that the SFs can do a evade action. For sure. This is real interesting. He's really playing a long game here. Uh, Drew, that is. Yeah. He's really prepared to just keep cycling his guys around. His two damage guys are the guys furthest out of the fight, one and five. The ones over by the board edge. Right. I think Zeri just rotates, focuses, and sticks. She's got some nice rock cover there. Oh, she's boosting? I don't know. He's going to go for isolated four. Oh, he got confused. He doesn't get a boost. Ah, this is just the rotate. Mm -hmm. The red rotate that they cannot do if they don't do another action. Greer comes around the rock. I think she's got the room for a boost there. Oh, no. She just leaves the arc backwards, and she'll shoot at five. Yeah. Tally boosts around. This is, once again, a sweet spot for Tally. I think a boost will give her arc. Definitely. Just taking it. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Try to Merc number five. Where's number five at? Number five. Way is, down there, downtown. Oh, number five has only lost two shields. So it's not going to be substantial damage to number five anyway. Okay. You'll get po some is damage just, on number one, though. Poe is K turning. That's aggro. All right. It's going for it. Said the math. It's got to get some shots in. Range three into number four. Oh, heroic. heroic triggers. For one. And one mm -hmm. result. All right, here we go with Tally. Shooting at number one. Advanced optics for two. It's not getting through. Zeri on to number one if she's got it. Yep. No, does not have it. Shoot number five. Sorry, Greer, this, not Zeri. This one result. It yep. does have. They do have the evade tokens to stop that damage. And Kelvin's just not got the dice this round. <coughs> All right. So Drew's taking his shots. Not sure which one of them shooting, but that turns into two results. Three. Two Whoever evades. just got adequate evades. All right. He's probably trying to work to over pull. I would expect. He's hoping that's, the, that's the smart thing to do. Yeah, he's no got... tokens. It's his only target. Shoot at your targets, but oh, it looks like we got two hits. And that hurts. Yep. That was Greer, I believe. Taking one more damage. And this could be the end of Greer right here. Greer is a Greer or Zari? Sorry, Zari. Sorry. Zeri lives. So Zeri's on one hull. Mm -hmm. Poe is still weirdly healthy. Yeah. Now, despite the fact that the the K turn didn't get Poe anywhere in terms of damage, it does have him in a nice position. Oh yeah. Is Dudes it? are flying away from him. Yeah. He can do a straight. Yeah. Focus target lock. Shoot somebody. Uh, with his big three dice. And it seems like Kelvin's at a disadvantage here, but point-wise, he's actually not. Yeah, we'll have to see. What do you think number four is doing? Is he going for the sloop? I wouldn't. And Drew, so far, has shown no sign that he's interested in using sloops. Right. Well, he could just one bank ship left. Ah. Shoot at Poe or whoever's fool enough to get back there. So we have a three turn from number five. Focus token. Come at me, Tally. He's got a one bank. Ooh, he's really playing it up. Yeah, this, and then he'll two turn the other two guys. Making the board state. Setting up the kill box. Yeah, more like a kill half moon. Yeah, but still, he's just making that... Arc of Danger. It's yep. like, yes, please, come on in. Tally might with the focus. actually be able to do something here with the two-turn boost barrel roll or barrel roll boost. I don't know. Okay, and here we got the... Oh, okay. All right. It's hard to, to, to wrap my mind around the idea that the front arc, the back arc <laughs> is just as good as the front arc. <laughs> Oh, it's a one turn. It's a one turn. Yeah. Cavalier dis disregard for modification. And good sense. Mm-hmm. Right, so here he's going down with the hard three. Okay. He's just covering his yeah. friend's arc with an evade, covering his own. He knows shots are coming. Here she comes. Zeri, who is on one hull, Out has revenge. no arcs on her currently. Yeah, she's okay with that. Yeah. She can't boost anywhere useful. She could focus. Depending upon what the other guys are doing, no, she's going to barrel roll. She must be doing that because she has to give somebody else space. Doesn't have crack shot or anything, so the bullseye doesn't mean anything. We got a one turn from Greer. 
I think he's going to throw firepower into number two here since number two is stuck out, stressed like a sore thumb. Tally might be wrapping back around to get on number two. Yep. Tally actually can get out of all the arcs but number twos. Wow. That uh, really paid off. That's re This is a really good round for Kelvin. Positionally, anyway. I mean, we'll see what the dice do. Yeah. Bo does the anticipated three straight. Does he have arc? Looks like he does. Yeah. He's Focus got no target shots lock, baby. Him. That's what Poe was born to do. All the things. All the things for killing. Kelvin seems incapable of throwing dice in the dice tray. <laughs> Do he's got, many things. He's got too much of land to actually get them in there. That's the problem. Using the lock. Oh, okay. Spending the focus. Two hits. Spends One the evade. Spend the evade. Gets nowhere. Wow. Made him spend the. Yep. He's got more shots coming. All right. So. Okay. Did he optics that? I couldn't see. Uh, I don't think he had the token. Oh, you're it. right. Wow. Zef, Zef. Oh, we got a little board state. Oh, there we're going to obstick that into two. All right, one. Wow, so little payoff for so many shots. So one on number, I'm not sure if that was on number two or number four. Kelvin's getting a little bit excited. He's getting into his frenzy, scaling yep. <laughs> frenzy, going very quickly. Wow. Oh, Drew's dice have bailed him out there. Yeah, well, needed to. He doesn't have any red dice. Yeah. But he's got uh, number two as a shot on tally. So positionally, how do you think Drew is at this point, though, for next round? Um, oh, Drew actually had a shot, so I guess that was two shooting at tally. two. Yeah, and that was it, <laughs> clearing the You retained your token for that shot, so. Yeah. Did Kelvin really only get one damage in through that whole round? Yeah. Wow. So do you think that the rise of the other a resistance rz2s uh, because of the points change with lulo mm -hmm. is uh what do you think of that is that that's healthy for that ship right because before Absolutely. it was just like well it would be ridiculous to play anything other than lulo <laughs> i mean he, he he was strong but the thing was he was also fragile compared to these guys yeah. These guys never give up their three green dice. Yeah. They're always just one turn. One turn, and that is a crash. So that's going to bump. Yeah, that's bumping. Bump. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's great for those ships. I think those three guys are great. Um, they're great ships. I mean, Tally, just by being an I-5, is kind of amazing. And she's cheap. She's kind of dice dependent, you know, you often blast her into range one, roll some dice and see what happens. Sometimes she rolls hot and contributes, sometimes she doesn't, and you just fly her out again. But she's still a pretty strong piece just by being I-5. Yeah. I'm going to say, I think Zeri is pretty incredible. So did Drew focus there, or what happened? Uh, I think he focused, I think we just can't see it. Okay, he's hiding behind the massive wing. Mm-hmm. So All right, have, doing uh, the hard three. All yep. right, focusing, covering that area. Hoping mm -hmm. to block up some lanes with all of his bodies and uh, get some decent shots in. That's a bold move with the uh, hard one. But, you know, he's getting... You know, he's a hard one, so he's going to be stressed anyway, so mm -hmm. no reason not to just bump in there. To block up that lane. Hmm. And this uh, two turn is clear by number three. And focus. Yeah, I think that must have been the point of uh, number four doing that, that turn. Yep, and there, see if it pays off. Ooh, in like Flynn. He's good. He's like, wonderful, thank you. But I'm not sure that's good for Zari. This may be Zari's last stand. And that was Zari is the damaged one. But which one is the... Is she's the one that gets the free rotate, or she's the one that gets the... Had she been blocked, it would have made no difference. Okay. Actually, she might have even liked it. 
Because <laughs> she's like, okay, that ship can't shoot me. Yeah. Looks like there's one, two arcs on Zeri. Greer is in a lot of arcs. Yeah, we'll see what happens when the smoke clears. Yeah. There are definitely a lot of... Who's going to have a chance to use his red dice a bit this turn? Yeah. I think if... I think if uh, a boost to the right will fit for Greer, I think it's the move. I think Kelvin mm -hmm. is contemplating it. Well, focus first, obviously. The focus and then boost. Yeah. I don't know. I think he might have the range one anyway. I don't think he needs the boost. Well, it would get... Yeah, you might be right. Oh, he's got to do the rotate. Oh, he's rotating. Greer gets a free rotate. Oh, right. Okay. So she is going to... Zip forward. Whoa, okay, going and that way. Trade the arc of number Ooh. four with no mods for the arc of number two. So get out of the arc of number two, or at least he's hoping to. Ah. Okay, and what's Tally doing? Well, we get to watch a sweater. Oh, yes. But at least it's all covered in beautiful marker dots. Ooh, so he self. He blocked. Whoa. Tally on purpose, so Tally would not float out into those arcs. Wow, that is some advanced play right there. Yeah, that was that was pretty fly. Bo does the Po thing. One bank, focus, target lock, shoot. Yeah, but number two is not hurt. No, but no, number two is down a shield. So this can help. He's going to shoot number four. No, I think and he wants then, to shoot. Uh, and then there's only him shooting back. So, well. Number two might, is. might see half points on Poe at this point, but yeah. Poe has got to earn his keep. Yeah, he's got to start hitting properly. That's a bit better. That is a, a nice roll, even with the blank. Hit yeah, crit crit. The four. All right, Jeez, so Louise. double evades. So just a crit and takes off his last shield. That is. Oh, no, just not his last shield, just one damage. So now he has one shield left. That's. SFs aren't supposed to act like that. Hit crit. What's he going to do? Spends the focus. So he's now hull exposed on number two? Yeah. He's fanatical. Right. So Focus for two. Blanks. There's the blank outs that Kelvin's been looking Down for. Down to one hull on number two. Is that what happened? I think so. And I think Tally has a shot on the same target. So she may try to pull that off. Or no, Tally shot. That was Tally shooting. I'm totally confused about who's shooting who. Oh, we seem to be on to the SFs. All right, here are the SFs. Did we miss an A-wing shot, or am I just not counting right? Uh, I think we did, but I don't Double know. Double crits. It's their game. Double crits. Spends the focus. Denies that. You're going to have to try again. No shots from three and one. It's time for four Ooh, oh, no, downtown it. on the pool. Yeah. Maybe? No? Yeah. Well, it's his only shot, so might as well take it. Checking arcs. Range three through the rock. On the boat. I was checking that. Oh, maybe that does have Zeri. All right, here we go. Half hour left. Alvin just pulled ahead. Got half points on another. Almost fully eliminate him. But he's almost certainly losing Zeri here. Yep. So it's still in a dead heat. Checking for arc really bad. And we got the all safe from the Marshal saying no shot. Then why isn't he shooting something else? Here we go. Here's a shot. Oh, focus for one. You get the one. All right, here we go. A lot of dice. Oh, I see. Zeri just shoots uh, after people. Right, right. So okay, we got a crit, a crit somewhere. Some kind of crit happened. Do we have a ship being removed from the board? And an Wild. SF is down. Wild. Mm, Zari is still on there. Now Kelvin can run away with his lead. Yep. Quite literally. How did Zari survive all that? I don't know. I don't know, but there she is. I suppose there weren't that many arcs on her. Yep. 
Oh, we got a two bank from number five. He's got two shields off. He's in pursuit. Drew's considering, should he do the focus? Should he get a lock? For that odd time when he needs to re-roll, probably going to focus, maybe considering a barrel roll. He's holding it. Oh, he's going for the barrel roll. He's going for the barrel roll. Behind the bunny rabbit, debris-shaped cloud, or bunny rabbit-shaped debris cloud. Most people say it. We've got a bump here. Self-imposed bump, and that wouldn't have occurred if he hadn't a barrel roll there, so he must have something up his sleeve. He just wants to get into that position, get those arcs facing the right way. So I had a peek at the other table. Uh, Mark De Bruyne has a slight edge. One FO TIE Fighter is down. One of Jeff's FO TIE Fighters is down. But two Phantoms, two of Mark De Bruyne's Phantoms are hanging by a thread. Well, they can hang by a thread all day long because they're Phantoms and they can just cloak and run. That is true. So was it, you know, if it was Scorch or it was his... I don't know no which name. one it was. Yeah. Well, it seems that Jeff still has quick draw on Kylo, and they looked pretty healthy, so... All right, well, we're going to see one of those guys here. Uh, oh, on a rock. Oh, misdialed. Whoa. That must have been lucky, what it was. But that's, he's going to have to deal with that next turn. Well, he's got cover from at least one shot. I guess. What did Kelvin do? And Greer is just chasing people down to kill them. These guys have played an obscene amount of X-Wing in the last two days. It's going to get to you uh, yep. eventually. <laughs> so, oh, number one's already at half, so Greer is going in there to finish the job. Get to work! Work. All right. Tally. Doing the rotate. Oh, she's doing the barrel roll rotate. Mm hmm. Safe. Dodge some arcs. The safe Shoot move. some guys. Get simultaneous barrel roll rotate there. Cool. I mean, mm. that there are no tokens on those fellas. So I think Tally should have a red stress at yeah this point. she should not our game they'll have to figure that out for themselves he's just doing the boost i mean i don't know could have black one there he's really trying to waste number one he's putting a lot of Chance into it. One hit. Range three. He's good. Yeah, just evades. Wants to get that work. Greer gets two. Not yeah. enough. One, One more, damage. more damage. Just hanging in there. Tally may take some hurt in return here. He's beefy, beefy a SFs. The beefiest darn TIE fighters you ever seen. Yep. I mean, uh, Drew's also had pretty good green dice oh yeah i mean no mods no like that yeah. well no mods and you roll like that yeah all right check no in shot. no no shot yeah gotta check all the marks range three through the thing at bow or range three through the thing at the a-wing He's going to go for Poe. He's going to go for the money. I uh, hit crit. Don't think that's the right call, but... There you go. He's good. He's to make. This dude on Zeri. Can Zeri live? Just one. one. She Just lives. One. I mean, she's got to get lucky again next round and not hit that... Not take... Not die on that rock. What does Poe do? Does he come back around that debris cloud on his right... 
Not sure what Drew is doing here. I guess he's going for a shot on the A-wing. I guess. On Greer. Yeah. He's I mean, going to shoot at that back arc. Greer's going to do some blue move. Rotator arc backwards for free. Focus barrel roll. Boost something. And okay. Here he comes. She wants. Coming in hot on Zari in case she's living through this. I guess. I guess. It's number five. Is number five hurt? He's, he's down two shields. I think he's just... Okay, now what's going on? Number four is activating. Number four is doing a three straight. Oh, okay. He might try to, he's trying to catch Greer. Yeah, he's trying to kill box Greer over there. But Greer. I don't have high hopes for this. Unless Kelvin has done something really dumb. Oh, well, he did. He made a mistake last turn. That's true. It is possible. Yeah. We saw we saw the glitch in, in the perfect mind go. All right, the one bank. He's yep. dominating that center so position. For the first round in a while, Drew's got focus tokens on all his guys. Zeri lives. She's like five straight, four straight, something. I'm going away. Yep. She may have just died to the fire here. We'll see. Yep. Greer doing Greer stuff. Yep. Just throw dice at this dude. Oh, he's still got two hull remaining. Yeah. I mean, if Greer oh. can get three so paint. He's, he's doing the hard one on Tally. Tally's rotating and boosting. Or, yeah, rot uh, yeah, rotate and boost. I'm going to throw all the dice at number one. Hope to finally clear that guy. Poe is contributing slightly less, only slightly less than usual this round. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to black one. He's going to target lock. Target lock and boost. The yeah. old target lock and, well, he doesn't even have to boost. He's, but he will. Just because he is Poe. He's circling back around. Don't know if he'll get back in this game in time. If not, he's got it for later. So here goes Tally on poor number one. One hit. One of eight. Greer for all the money. Oh, does she spend it? Oh, I don't think he can. Really? Yeah. Because I mean, what are the chances of Drew rolling two blanks? Oh, he's doing it. No, it's just one more damage through in the Omega on egg number three. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter if he spends it or not. Yeah. Or, so, sorry, it does matter for him. It, it doesn't matter if Drew loses his token or not. Yeah. All right, so. Three dice. Yep. All of it. Oh, yeah. He needs two evades not to give up half. Uh, he didn't get it. Half points on Greer. Or was that the shot on It was a Zeri. three dice. I think it was the shot on Zeri. Uh, no. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Now he's shooting Zeri. Oh. When I was looking. Update. Jeff is now leading against Mark DeBrun. All right, so we may see Jeff coming back Yep, in the finals. And if that happens, if Jeff comes back, then it may well end up a Hammer versus Toronto match. Could be, or it could be a, an all-PTL final. Could be. <laughs> Either way, this has been an interesting game. So I'm not really sure. Did Greer get halved? She did. Greer did. Okay, that's yep. the 41 in Drew's yep. column. Man, those RZ2s are cheap. Oh, yeah. Nothing but cheap ships except pull around here. Yeah. And he's honestly been pretty chicken in this game. However, eggs five and three are pointing away from the fight. Is that what people call those? No, that's just me. Oh, just you? Okay. I just want to know if that was an actual I'm thing. I'm keep repeating or that... it because I want it to stick and become oh. an actual thing. So you can say it now. So I'm not going to, oh, okay. but that's okay. Because I'd never <laughs> heard anyone call it eggs. I was like... 
Is he getting that from Omega? Is he getting that from Expert? Omega, yeah. It's like, uh, okay. Here come the sloops, which is good. When Poe gets back around, he'll face Poe directly. Might give Zarya a shot, though. Okay. Aha, look at this. He's controlling that board, controlling that key center area. He is. Where it's like, okay, well, we're just in a square, so if you're going to shoot, go around. I'm yeah. going to stay in here. Yeah, number three is at full health, so number three is like, sure, I'll just po. I'll get some points for you guys. Yeah. So the R4, that just astromech on po, That What's the effect of that card? Uh, in effect, that makes his two turns blue. Okay. All the other ones and twos that are on his dial are already blue. That yeah. That gives you two turns. All right. With his ability, that is fairly strong. Yeah. I mean, I would say it's necessary with his ability. It's mm -hmm. a necessary upgrade on the ship. This is interesting. Okay. It's gonna Those like, are fairly it's straightforward gonna like, moves. Yeah, Kelvin should have like, seen them coming. Got a three turn yeah. from Zeri. What is Zeri going to do? She's going to focus boost. Nope, she's going to barrel roll. Right underneath the dice tray. Mm -hmm. Hide out under the dice tray. Oh, somebody move the dice tray, Zeri. We can see you. <laughs> we can see you again. All right, so we got some funky action over here. Marking out... Uh, this is a good call. Easy arc dodge for Greer. Oh, maybe I'm wrong about the arc dodge. Yeah, yeah I'm totally wrong. Not so much an arc dodge, but she's got to. She's controlling range there. Number four hasn't uh, has lots of shields. Not really wanting to do that. Which <laughs> raids? If it's sorry. So she's rotated forward. She's rotated forward. She's going for the bank boost. Yeah, focus boost. Focus boost. So she's going to have to tank this round's worth of fire, but it's just fire from number four. And she's tied with the SFs. So Tally is not dodging any damn arcs. I think Kelvin's getting tired. <coughs> the SFs are wearing them out. He's got a point lead, though. Okay, nice. There goes Tally. She's exchanging dice with the damaged dude who's on one hull. Yeah. I so she's got no tokens. No, but it looks like a range one shot. She just needs to roll. Is she supposed to have a stress again? Yeah, she's supposed to have a stress again. Wow. Guess she's turned into uh, Tycho Chelchu. <laughs> She did a blue move this round. She was supposed to be stressed, but she did a blue move anyway, so I don't know. We're not interfering as a general policy today, so we're just not going to mess with it. So Telly only has two dice, throws backwards, gets one, and number one incredibly dies. Well, there after you go. That's, several hours of work. All right, that so that's is 80 points okay, on there's the, the table. There's the stress token. Double, Double crits. crits on the full health number three, right? Yeah. Spend the focus number three. Spend it. Spend it. Spend it. Don't be a madman. Spend it. There you go. Does number three have range on Poe? I guess we'll find out. We'll find things out. No, no, no. shots. No shots. No well, shots. Well, number no four shot. has... Number Greer. four is Guy Greer. And it might be a damage. I mean, she could bolt. She could die. Nope. Oh. So that turns into one with optics. And Greer would have to roll real bad in order to not dodge that. Twice. All right. Eight minutes remain in the game. Looks like Kelvin's got this. Poe would like to go put Hurt on number four or number five. He's got to do more than put Hurt. He's got to... He's got to be working unison with his little A-wing friends to move <laughs> move some shots off the board. Because really, that's 
that's all that's going to be. He's got his lead. He just doesn't want to lose it by mm-hmm. taking fire. So foolhardiness. All right. So, so we're seeing the sloop. sloop. So that guy's out of the fight. And that is number four, who is down a shield. Okay. So number five ought to be Kelvin's target here with the A-Wings. And he's set up to have Greer and Tally rush it. It's coming hot. All right, so there we are. SFs have gone. Here come the A's. Zeri somehow still alive. Remarkable. She flew over a rock twice. Should have a misplanned dial. Should be so dead, but there she is, living mm-hmm. the A wing life, shooting those SFs out of arc. Ooh, that was a call. Okay, here comes Greer. Yep. Also, remarkably, still alive. It looks like all the shots are going into number three. Number three is going to have a time. Rear rotates. Will she focus and boost? Oh, damn. Those Trixie A wings. Look at that. Look at that Trixiness. So she'll still, still take a shot from number five. And Tally. Don't forget about Tally. Don't forget about Tally. Kelvin's getting tired. Yeah, Tally. Tally. Poe already has a lock somewhere. I think it's on number five. Yeah. Oh, they just, looks like they just remembered about Tally. Drew was like, what abs? No, Poe's going to leave the lock where it was. All right, so Tally's going to do something this round, or? Oh, yeah, it's going to activate her. Here she goes. Activate. Too straight. I'm in for the punch in the side of the head move. Mm-hmm. Executing full on end game. Well, she could, in theory, drop five to. Oh, Poe and Tally are going to gang up on number five. Number five or number three? Number five. It's where Poe is the lock. All right. She's got a hit crit. Hit, hit crit. I mean, Kelvin is finally getting good dice. Finally, yep. And Drew's finally getting bad dice. So that shield's down on number five. Oh, it was more than shield's down. He was more hurt than we knew. And the crit is something. Oh. Some kind of crit. And here comes another shot. Advanced optics optics. into two. And the two. One of eight. One and and two two of eight. So didn't kill number five. One hit. One hit from Greer. Greer will retain her focus for defense. And blanks. The shiny, shiny. Number three takes takes another one. Number three? Yep. Now it's the... um, Now it's the... SFs? Yeah. Uh, He's focusing for two, or is that fanatical? No, this one. Poe takes one. one. Poe takes one. Better not take another one, Poe, because that's half health. Any update on the other game is asked. Uh, uh, they focus. are sweating a whole lot. That's Fanatical all I can say. and SF two making Poe spend his focus. Is that what just happened? I think, I think so. so. Yep. So boom, boom, boom. Poe is still at four hull. Yeah. He didn't take any damage. He had a focus stone. He spent. Okay. Or, I think he did. He should have. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. He's not doing anything else. Not not my game. So number five is what? I don't know. Just a spectator over here. Oh, number five took another crit? Or was that the same crit? He's uh, just showing us. Uh, I'll go have a look. It might be... We've sent envoys to the table. All right. So Drew's still hanging on. Mm-hmm. Still hanging on. Got a stun pilot and a hull breach. Oh, it's the last aye, hull, aye, hull aye. breach. All right, so half points now. Kelvin's up to a score of 100. Healthy, healthy lead. Definitive. Even if you were to get half points on Poe at this point, 
Mm -hmm. It's not going to push him over the edge. I mean, half points on Poe, plus the death of one of those two damage J-Wings. Yep. He's 55 points. Still, this is solid, solid showing from, you know, any player that's made the cut is like, uh, it's an achievement. Yeah, it's just three banking. Uh, so Jeff Asiri has defeated Mark DeBrun, and Jeff will continue on with his FO Slaw, Kylo Ren, Quick Draw, Scorch, and Absalon to play one of these dudes in the final. Okay, let's see if Poe saw that coming. I mean, I think Poe is just happy to bump into him at this point. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the other guy. All right, this SF looks like he is bumping. And bump, he does. But he's got Fanatical all going on. Now, Stun Pilot in second edition only kills you with uh, overlapping asteroids, not he, overlapping yeah, ships, right? Greer getting smashed in the front of this guy. And she'll get to do a focus action regardless. She'll be like, okay. Don't think anybody's in her arc, but at least she gets the defensive token. Kelvin moving the debris around. He's like showing his contempt for the game state. That's exactly like him. Yeah. And we're going to try to wipe out number five. Who's down to one all? Don't think number five can count on living here. Yeah, it's pretty, it's it's pretty hot. He's doing the old boost focus. He's not, Tally not, is not taking any chances. Not taking any chances at all. Wipe him out. Black Bo, one. who's not stressed, is going to bump. Crashy, smashy... There we go. This is... So Christopel asks, any update on the other game? Yes, Jeff Asiri has defeated Mark Debrun. So we're going to be seeing First Order and Resistance in the finals, most likely. The score for that match was 134 for Jeff Asiri to Mark Brun 62. All right, so we've got shots. What is this? Eyeballs without focus tokens. One hit. Calvin's dice are not on his side. There we go. One cancels one. And all right, I think we've got some stuff going on here. <laughs> some hilarity. It's a really dead Omega Squadron expert. And I think that was a console fire. Oh, with a, okay. With a, combined with a hull breach. <laughs> one damage. No effect. <coughs> Ken number four, half point Poe. All it needs is one damage through. No! Oh, this guy can take a shot. He could kill Zeri, maybe. He's real lucky. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who he shoots. He can't win. It doesn't matter. It's gonna... But they're playing it out. Playing it out like, gen like the true gents they are. Two hits. Two hits. Oh, oh well, one eyeball. Her. Boom. So what happened? Zeri blew up? Something happened, but they've shook the hands. They've called it. There we are. Calvin Lau is moving on to the finals against Jeff Asiri. So tune in.